Is this a time for reflection? And uh, it's entitled Dashing um, to Share Hope with Others. And, you know, I listen to NPR a great deal. And about uh, just a couple of weeks ago, they were talking about a survey about hope. And they found that back in the 80s, they did this survey, um, you know, a sociologist did this survey, and, and they asked the question, do you think there will ever be a time when we are not at war in the world? Back in the 80s, they asked this question. And 30% of the people who answered that question said, no, we'll always have war. And 70% answered, no, there'll be a time when we're not at war. There'll be a time when there will be peace. Sociologists just did the study again recently, and the numbers have changed. Now, 90% of the people that they asked that question, do you ever think we'll have a time when we're not in war, where there is peace? 90% of the people said, no. There will never be a time when the world is not at war, that we are at peace. And only 10% said yes. I still hope that there will be a time when there is peace, where somewhere in the war there will be no violence. Somewhere in the world there will be no war, that we will, as a whole world, come at some point in time to a place where we're not at war. I almost wonder how we would, would react here. Would we, how many of us would say, no, we're just broken people and the world is just broken and the systems are so set up that, yeah, I don't think that there'll ever be a time when we're not at war. I don't even have hope that there'd be peace. And yet... We're at a time where all we're thinking about is the hope of Christ coming. The reality of Christ coming into our midst and being with us. The Micah text speaks of Bethlehem. And it says, oh you Bethlehem. You place that is the pit of the nation of Judah, the nation of the people of Israel. You tiny little worthless town. This little place nobody wants to be at. Oh, little Mary. You little peasant girl. You really don't count. You got to get your stuff together. But you don't matter. Where's the hope? And God speaks hope. From Bethlehem, you town that no one respects, no one wants to be part of, the light of the world will come forth. The life, the hope, salvation will come forth. And you, little pitiful Mary, you unsuspecting, unexpected, not important, anonymous girl, God has something for you. God will spin, send the hope of the world through you. In each of these cases, there's no reason for hope, and yet God does something wonderful. God brings forth life. God brings forth hope. And the good news for us today is you might go, oh, I really don't feel like I matter. I don't feel like I really do anything that makes a difference in the world. When you all show up my, at my funeral, maybe nobody will show up. 
maybe it won't matter. From the least expected, the most unlikely places, the most unlikely people, God uses, not just in Bethlehem and Mary, but throughout the whole Bible, God chooses, always chooses, the unexpected and the unlikely. And so if today you were thinking, no, I'm really not going to make an impact on the world, my path won't really make a difference, it's time for you to hear that you too are like Bethlehem, that you too are like Mary, and that the hope of creation, the hope of life, the hope of future, the hope of the universe can come through you too. That God can use you, even though you think, what am I? That God will use you if all you do, as Mary said, here am I. Let it be. Hope springs. Life is formed. The world is changed. So today, as we look at preparing for Christmas Eve, I invite you to encounter the hope the hope of God using you in rich and powerful ways. The hope of God transforming the world through you. Because all you say is, here am I. Use me. Let us pray. Holy and gracious God, we're not a mega church. We're a place where we are seeking your grace, seeking your power to use us to transform the world, to bring hope to a world that doesn't dare to dream to hope, to bring peace to a world of violence. Transform our lives, O oh God, that we might be your people of hope and that we might bring it to the world around us. We pause before you now, and we lift up our thanksgiving and our joys and our prayer concerns. We join our hearts together in the prayer Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.